Today, a tech news episode, brought to you from the studio who presented tech news on Friday, August 18th, and Thursday, August 17th, and Wednesday, August 16th, and two- <coughs> Today, Intel was expected to unveil Coffee Lake for desktops, uh, especially with recent leaked benchmarks, but instead the company announced four new 8th generation U processors for notebooks. They're only a refresh of the KB Lake processors, not a new architecture, but they have twice as many cores and threads as the previous generation. That's 4 and 8, respectively, compared to 2 and 4. With double the cores and threads, these CPUs are expected to offer 40% greater processing power while still staying at a low 15 watt TDP. The chips are expected to launch in Ultrabooks next month. As for Coffee Lake, an official unveiling is expected in the fall, which is still sooner than we would usually hear about the next Intel architecture. I think you can thank this guy for that. This guy named Ryzen, my friend. Acer has revealed a new two-in-one gaming laptop, and actually it uses the new Intel processors I was just talking about, up to a Core i7. It also has GTX 1050 graphics, a 512GB PCIe SSD, and a 15.6 HD display. This laptop is meant for casual gamers and is the most powerful two-in-one device on the market at the moment, so uh, that's pretty cool. Acer says the Nitro 5 can run games like Dota 2 and Overwatch smoothly, and it has 10 hours of battery on a full charge. The Nitro 5 spin will be available in North America and Europe for $999, which sounds pretty great to me. What do you guys think? Android O officially has the rest of the letters after the O, and they spell Rio. And when you put those letters together with the O, it spells Oreo. Yes. Android had a whole event with the solar eclipse today, which was pretty awesome. The solar eclipse, that is. But the event was pretty lame, to be honest. But they made the Oreo look like the eclipse. So, uh, anyways. Android 8.0 Oreo will begin rolling out to the Pixel, Pixel XL, Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P, Nexus Player, and Pixel soon. Also, any device enrolled in the Android beta program will get the final build ASAP. This update brings a revamp of the notification panel with a new layout and better battery life by controlling running background apps. There's also Project Treble for new devices, which will make it easier to develop and roll out Android updates. Anyways, Android Oreo isn't too exciting, but the rollout for previous updates has been pretty slow, so we'll see if there's any improvements in regards to that. Let me know in uh, like six months or so if you've gotten it if you have an Android. Hopefully you have by then. Gamescom is getting started in Germany, so it's time for mostly game-related SNSSMQTTOs. I don't think it's faster to say that. Final Fantasy XV was announced for PC today and will launch early 2018. It will be released on Steam, Origin, and Windows 10, including all the DLC released so far. Overwatch released a new animated short featuring Junkrat and Roadhog, and it takes place in Junkertown, which is also the name of the new map they announced. EA showed off a new multiplayer mode for Star Wars Battlefront 2 called Starfighter Assault. It supports up to 24 players, includes class-based ships, and objective-driven gameplay. You can even play Yoda as a pilot, which, well, Rally doesn't, uh, you don't like that it's very stupid. much. stupid. Yeah, well. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, ah, uh, well. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds will be published by Microsoft Studios when it comes to Xbox, rather than the creator's company, Bluehole. This change is expected to help the game speed up development and hit its 2017 release target. And in not game news, the HTC Vive is getting a $200 price cut to $599. This is surely in response to Oculus dropping the Rift to $499, well, actually it's $399 for the summer sale, but will be $499 after that. And the Vive is a bit better, I'd say, than Oculus, so this makes sense. All in all, VR is cheaper, so, so that's cool. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post, linked in the description. Tech news! Jeez. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's what they asked for, though. So loud. I have no choice. Um, hashtag NCX Yodok. <laughs> Newsletters! Oh, I'm not gonna scream that, I was gonna scream that, but it was pretty loud, so anyways. Uh, yeah, uh, we have a newsletter, and when you subscribe in the month of August, you can enter to win an AMD Ryzen 3 1200 processor. If you're already subscribed, just claim your newsletter points for this month, and you'll be entered for that as well. Click over here for more info on that, and you'll be rising to a new level. <laughs> 
All right, that's it for Nailing Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Like this from NCIX. And anyways, it's, it's far more difficult to... See ya, see ya, goodbye. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds will be published by Microsoft Studios when it comes to Xbox, rather than the creator's company Bluehole. This. <laughs> this <laughs>